Um, so Scorpio, let's see what's coming your way in love. We do have the Eight of Pentacles and the Three, the Three of Pentacles. Somebody is willing to make the effort in this connection. Somebody is working with you to have a real partnership, you know, and build a life together. Four of Wands, you might get a. I love the Four of Wands is the energy of marriage. It's actually my second marriage card after the Hierophant, so it's good. I love this. And Cancer Energy, the Chariot, but this is about success and moving forward, taking something to the next level. I love this. Well, I most certainly love this. Okay, so let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. The most important one. And we do have the Nine of Wands. Somebody is hurt and learned the lessons the hard way. Um, Scorpio. You might be dealing with a Virgo. We don't have the Hermit. But uh, this is about lessons, right? And this is about insights. Um, and it's about, now I know, it's about wisdom. It might be a bit of solitude. You might be dealing with somebody who walks alone. Um, you know, somebody who um, needs time and space in general, you know. Um and with the Nine of Wands, we do have spiritual strength. So somebody is actually uh, gaining wisdom, understanding, uh, learn the lesson, and perseveres. Because that's also an energy of perseverance, the Nine of Wands. It's a beautiful overall energy. It is a beautiful overall energy because every time I see wisdom, I feel good. For you in, in a sense that uh, we know better now right that's the energy now scorpio on your side in the past the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's see current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and possible outcome okay i'm taking it you have three cards love the lovers, harmony, destiny, and triumph. Three major arcana. Cancer, Gemini energy, but this is going with the flow. This is about triumph in love, and this is about wisdom. I love this. And possible outcome for the third week of January. On your side, the other person and mutual energies. I love this. I love this. That is a deep understanding of something, um, Scorpio. That is a deep understanding, a deep meaning of success, of love, of choices, of destiny, will of fortune, changing something, enabling changes, allowing changes, allowing the universe while we take charge, right? Because that's the chariot moving in the opposite direction of trouble, taking something to the next level. I love this. So, um, Scorpio, in the past, you and this person, that was a world of love, right? We do have reconciliation and we do have the lovers, uh, Gemini energy. This feels to me like two souls coming home. That's how it felt um, in the past. I believe I, this is on your side. So probably you felt safe and loved and appreciated and it felt like a celebration. Three of Cups is a lot of fun. So I'm sure this love was also, you know, a lot of fun, but it feels like, um, you know, two souls coming home. I, I don't know how to explain better how I feel, you know. Um, and um, yeah, I know. And harmony, right? That was a lot of harmony. Um, like understanding each other without speaking and this energy of... Um, you know, of holding hands, that's the three of cups for me. You know, people coming together and reuniting while holding hands. I don't know why. This is how it uh, feels to me. And the intuition is telling me. Now, the person you are dealing with, uh, you are dealing with. Uh, we do have the emperor. Might be an Aries you are dealing with. And uh, nine of pentacles. They might be abundant. They were maybe single. Um, and... Um, it is an energy of, um, you know, you being very emotional about them and them being extremely 
uh, emperor about the situation, which is mind energy, very analytical, very uh, calculated, you know, um, making uh, evidence-based decision, right? Kind of. Um, and with the nine of pentacles, probably they are, they would abandon, maybe they have, um, you know, like a, a position of power, some authority uh, to them, or maybe they have this, uh, you know, an approach that is a little bit different than yours. Um, nonetheless, nine of pentacles, it is an energy of wellness, is an, is an energy of well-being, it's an energy of taking care of themselves, so I believe somebody here was you know, um, it's, I'm, I'm sensing very confident and also knowing exactly who they are and taking care of themselves and being present in the relationship and saying, this is me and this is how I come towards you, you know. And again, uh, mutual energies between the two of you, the emperor, they might have been your boss, Scorpio, or somebody you work with. And we do have the moon, um, shadow, Pisces energy. Again, major arcana. Uh, maybe there was a lot of love and also a little bit of fear. Maybe somebody was afraid to let go fully. So they kept their guard up because the emperor, right? He's always on his toes and he's always in a position of power and he's always in control of things where they want to be or they, you know, this is how they start the day by asking themselves, how can I keep this under control, right? And it was because of fears. That is also a fear of losing it. I don't know how this applies to you, Scorpio, but that is an energy of, um, between the two of you. You know, one very emotional, very loving, one very controlled, and in the midst of it, we have Pisces, which is, again, also emotional energies, but it's more of a fear of losing something. Either the connection, losing it, or losing yourself in this connection, or losing themselves in this connection, and this is what kind of uh, uh, tinted the... Uh, the connection maybe somebody was is extremely autonomous and independent and you know very they might present themselves in a very detached way and this is what uh, maybe kept both of you in, in the shadow you know two worlds two different worlds coming together but in the same time on your side i feel like i was saying two souls coming home like recognizing each other now um Scorpio, right now, the um, energy on your side, we don't have Four of Swords, resting and rejuvenating, and we also have Wish Fulfillment. Um, that is an energy of peacefulness with it, and um, an energy of getting what you want. Um, so probably you are, I, I'm not seeing the separation actually, so probably that is not, that is, uh, that is no uh, separation there. And it's an energy of peacefully getting what you want, you know, or coming to terms with your wish fulfillment and what you really wish from this connection. That is an energy of meditating and, um, you know, being out into the nature, taking a kind of a spiritual approach to it. Maybe that is not a lot of communication, but that is a good silence. That is, uh, that is a sense of satisfactory kind of silence. And, um, you know, maybe a deeper understanding of the moments of silence. And in the same time, in the silence, you get what you want. You get your wish fulfillment. Again, two different approaches. Um, the person you are dealing with, um, Scorpio, they definitely want to take the connection further. We do have accelerated motion. This is messages of passion. This is having projects being out there. And it is also um, combined with the star card, hope. So they hope to take this connection with you to the next level. Um, this is divine guidance. This is also cleansing and making changes in their life. This is also energies of alignment and awakening to spirituality and divine guidance and being extremely passionate about it. You know, might be an Aquarius you are dealing with. I mean, they mean serious business, you know, that's how it feels. Mutual energies between the two of you, peace of mind in regards to reciprocation. We do have the, the Six of Swords. I'm sensing a lot of um, silence and peace of mind. So maybe this connection uh, at some point to some extent was maybe knew some waves and now it's really a good, healthy kind of um, quiet 
you know we have six of swords i know in this deck is about the energies of um piece of, of uh, moving on but i'm sensing more of reciprocation because a uh, peace of mind because that is reciprocation between the two of you that is a sense of hope and that is a sense of wish fulfillment between the two of you i'm really picking up on the energy of a couple who's good together right now and we have harmony we have twice the energy of harmony in the past then we have it as the overall energy so somehow there is an energy here of saying uh please enjoy you know rejoice in this harmony that is happening right now and it's a different um it came with love right you you brought to the table love and now it's this energy of confidence that you get what you want you know it's a different kind of harmony it goes a little bit deeper and that is love reciprocation here that is definitely balancing and and spiritual prosperity and material prosperity between the two of you that is a sense of balance and decision and justice six of pentacles is the justice card in minor arcana so we do have beautiful energies here of balance um you know through uh, meditation grounding yourself through hope um you know and alignment and spiritual awakening it's beautiful scorpio i just love this energy moving forward on your side um scorpio we do have the power the it's strength card of course leo energy and the seven of wands um you know what i'm sensing i'm sensing here of um you know yeah standing your ground uh fighting for your values um, but that is an energy of fighting to, you know, to continue to feel powerful and, or empowered, right? That's energy of the strength. This is an energy of strength in kindness. So maybe moving forward, that is a situation that will require from you, Scorpio, to be kind to somebody while staying strong and standing your ground and defend your, defending your values or the way you want to lead this connection, okay? It's an energy of taming yourself, but staying strong in a process, you know. Uh, for some of you, it might be, you know, small challenges life uh, enjoys throwing at us so that we, uh, you know, we are always ready to fight. Um, and this is actually what is required over, you, over here for you, you know, to fight for this and, um, you know, fight with kindness and um, a deeper understanding that you are strong and you can go through it um you know untouched now the person you are dealing with they might have something uh, to be scared about uh, we have them in the eight of swords they are trapped in fear and in emotional withdrawal um, for the third week of january again might be something that is happening right now um it's something they can't really move away from eight we know it's meant to be it's infinity sign which is meant to be on their path and they might have a scare of some sort and they are in emotional withdrawal in order to um you know deal with their own mental prison so oh that is a uh, deep love here that is absolutely deep love and deep hope and um we might have like i was saying i'm sensing a small challenge coming your way and um, again, it will require for you to be strong in the process while they are dealing with uh, with it in an emotional way. And it's interesting because we started the reading with the emotions on your side. And now we have them a little bit emotional, but in the same time trapped in their head a bit. Mutual energies between the two of you, the temptation and the truth, the devil, Capricorn energy and the judgment. This is second chances here this is um a call for a mission this is also the truth about some form of temptation this might be addictions that we need to fight and get second chances with um because again devil is addictions codependency is something toxic that we need to come clean it's truth and temptation right we need to come clean and it's something uh, standing between you and this person some form of te temptation Maybe you have moments and waves where the connection is toxic, but actually, you know, the truth is always the way. And we have second chances if uh, what's coming your way is a little bit of challenge. 
you know, uh, for somebody that is a guidance to stay in their truth also for some of you, Scorpio. Okay. Um, but they're good. They're good. They want, they want movement with you. Uh, they are hopeful. Um, and I do love the star. Well, it's, it's a beautiful energy after the sun. I do love the star, you know. Um, the sun, of course, is everything um, in this tarot deck because it's about uh, truth, awakening, awareness, illumination, knowing exactly um, everything being under the sun. So, um, you know, and the sun gives life. So it has something very meaningful in it. And then that is the silence and the patience um, and the the hope, you know, some the star, right? Because it's somebody being in the dark and following the star as the only way to come out of, of uh, the situation. So I do love the, the star card. And of course, might be somebody in the spotlight, can be somebody who works and is seen by people. Um, but I'm more sensing this energy of, um, for the person you are dealing with, this energy of hope and attaching themselves to all things spiritual to go through a situation. So. Um, it's a beautiful energy, actually, Scorpio. It's a, such a beautiful energy. And the air, I love the Wheel of Fortune. Things will go in your favor. If the things are down right now, it will go up again. Um, and I do love, of course, the chariot, the triumph in it. Tons of potential, tons of love. And in the midst of some challenges, we are staying strong, right? And knowing that reciprocation is here and wish fulfillment, you know. Now let's have some guidance, Scorpio. Let's see in regards to this connection, what we are guided to do. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So there is something about holidays. There is something about retreat. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You have to decide to have a honeymoon with this person and engagement. I, I, I felt this at the beginning of the reading. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I just love this. We, we, I, we felt it right away over here. Accelerated motion and hope. Yeah, it is about a deeper commitment in this deck. It is about somebody working hard to have to move this connection to the next level and have and have triumph and hope. Surrender frustration. Are you frustrated, Scorpio? Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath. Center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. So this is where you need to stay strong, right? And kind. This is strength and kindness. This is also um, calm in the turmoil, right? When the heart is pounding, we stay strong and we control the beast inside of us, right? That is. Let's see what else. Surrender to drama, Scorpio. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So no drama, no frustration. Surrender your fear of intimacy. I don't know who's afraid of this, but somebody needs to hear that, this message. Maybe in this relationship, intimacy might be a problem. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Such a beautiful energy and good advice for somebody. And it's all related to emotions, Scorpio. Emotions and intimacy, which is related to emotions, right? Um, Scorpio, this is all that I have for you guys. And as always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see you next time. Love you. Take care.